Hello, everybody. I am the Joker, and welcome to a minifigure showcase. These have nothing to do with the A to Z mini mega marvel whatever it is figure showcase. This is simply just a bunch of figures that whoever is the YouTube account for did. Uh, it's the animating bug one. Ah, oh, wonderful. Well, here are some of his figures that he found. They're all custom. Some of them might not be as good, well designed as the Ant Man over there, but. Well, what the heck? It probably is better than his design. Hey! Well, shut up. Well, here you go. A bunch of figures made by the same creator of the Ant Man, the animating Pog One. Yes. Yes, I know, but it is right, it's just. Alright. First of all, we have Statler and Waldorf from the Muppets. Just take a good look at them, because you'll be seeing other figures next. Take a good look around you. Oh, <coughs> sorry. Yes, Waldorf's got the tie, Statler's got the tie, whoop de doo, holla baloo. Now, next is up. If you want to see these figures again in a more detailed mod showcase, I mean, minifigure so showcase, then we'll comment below. Tony Stark in a suit. Well, there he goes. Tony Stark in a suit. Mark 2 and Mark 1. And Tony Stark's spacesuit, of which I forgot the name of. Yes. Enjoy it while you can. Mark 2 shiny. Mark 1 is looks a lot like iron. Stark is Stark, only with a suit, and spacey suit is a spacey suit. Try and notice that there's a blue circle in the middle of the black. Next up, we have YouTubers. Zephos from the Oxcast. Honeydew from the Oxcast, and there should be one more, but his wrists are gone. And Skyder's Minecraft from Skyder's Minecraft. You know, he didn't really describe me often that, that much, really. You really want me to describe you more? Yes. Comment below if you want me to describe Tony more. Right then. Probably had a good look at that. Next up, just a simple zombie. That one of many zombie pieces that are jumbled together. This one actually came with the wrist piece, but the animating pug one put a different wrist piece on it. Slash her. We don't really know at all. It's probably him. And it's probably a robber. But you decide. <laughs> Next up is actually is actually a replica or something of a figure, an action figure that the animating Pug One has. It's actually a GI Joe um twentieth edition limited edition GI Joe snow gear um regular peach flesh skin colored one. Yes, this one I'm actually going to show. Hello, everybody. Yes, this one actually has like a really detailed design. If you could see, just focus right on it. On him. Yes, look at that wonderful design. It has the belt on it on him. It's definitely him. It has the wrinkles. It even has the little parka or something. And has the black boots. Even on the inside, and the face looks extraordinary. All right, that's all you get. You got a nice long look at that. <coughs> now, next for them, for the one of them that has a really 
cool accessory and probably most likely one of the first custom minifigures. Focus the camera. That the animating pug one has created. Everybody, please, for a big round of applause in the comments only for the US agent. Congratulations. You win nothing. Except this jail cell. But that's not important. It's mine. But the US agent was probably one of the first minifigures that was customized and created after once again another action figure. It is legitimately really cool and it was made out of an old Captain America figure custom. Which means that it was not the first or the second most likely, it was most likely a tw the 20th or the 30th or 40th or whatever. But I would like you to say to say nothing. I didn't I don't really know where I was going with that. <clears throat> but thank you all so much for watching. And good day to you. Yes, yeah. All right.